so so simmers and welcome back to another teen pregnancy episode um last time she had her first kiss with alden um this guy right here but um we're going back to her mom's house today where um last time we saw nathaniel we were a little flirty but this one's a much more slow burn than with Alden. So, um, I'm not making any decisions between Nathaniel or Alden yet. So, you need to let me know, um, what you'd prefer. Who do you like better? We could go with Alden or Nathaniel, or we could sort of go for both of them and just see who gets her pregnant first, I guess. Yeah. Um, but that doesn't really seem like the kind of thing she would do. So, I'll need you guys to tell me what you want with that. They always want to grab, like, a non-breakfast food. Oh, he's tense about his relationship again. Another thing I need you guys to tell me what you think like should the parents try getting back together or not once they all finish getting ready um i'm gonna go ahead and flip households So they're with their mom. Uh -huh. Oh, it's a snow day. Oh my gosh. Okay. That, okay, that's good. Okay. So it's a snow day. So cool. So, um, yeah. Okay. Let's travel. Or wait, did just her brother get a snow day? Or does she also have a snow day? I don't know, I guess we'll find out if she goes to school or not. But, I hope she gets a snow day, because that would be very helpful <laughs> for storytelling purposes. Okay everyone, we have arrived back home. And I made them a part of her household again. Um, so, mom and dad <laughs> are gonna try talking to each other. They're still friends. They just, you know, um, their romance is obviously pretty bad. Why don't you um, build a snow pal with your brother while mom and dad are talking? Warren, yeah. A 
apparently it isn't a snow day anymore. Okay, or maybe... Okay, we're just gonna say she has a snow day. Okay, the dad left. Um, okay. Let me see. If I can say that they, like, decided to do something together, maybe. Um. I want them to, like, have, like, a better relationship, you know? Um... I'm just gonna call him back over. I'll say that he, like, left something or whatever. Maybe I'll say it's like a half day. Yeah, I'll say it's like a half day. So at like 10 or something. I'll let her come home. No, don't yell at him immediately. Why don't you check on him? I don't know why they decide to do this outside, but whatever. Marie Koshima? <laughs> oh, it's in Quill. Oh. I need them to stop being rude to each other every five seconds. Because even if we don't get them back together, they need to be at a point where they're not like screaming at each other every time they're in the same room. Okay, um, uh, maybe just, like, complain. <laughs> Elja Crophoba, uh-huh. Ah! Hmm. Ooh, Kipepta. Fella Balom. Mm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Harpin. A Rogaba. Hennepoor. Furobi. Svenov. <laughs> Shani. Okay. They're like, uh, try and talk through problems. 
Branka Flanobo. Simbab Krako. Lavar. Eh, Shamatina. Okay. Okay, um. Discuss the kids' future. Um, attempt a peaceful discussion of issues. And then say something nice to him. Uh, so Gilan. Mm. He's acting all mm. awkward. Oh, I'm Bajanga. Benorba KB Sebo. Parsif Neves. Blows it. Soy. Dina. Gaba Wooney Hitch. Simbab Krako. Turnoy. Eh, Shamabu. Yes. Shusha. Apparently that didn't work out well. Radish. Benka Hamblin of Wibs. What so? Eh, Wibs. Good so. Eh. Thirty percent likely to reconcile, or thirty percent to reconciliation. Or is truly concerned that a permanent separation would affect the children. Bull Gelman, Snorbidu, Grau Hispa, Yalu. Those memories, they're dear to me too. If only we could make more of the same ones together. Um, let's say that they are going to make some new memories. Let's just say that they're like gonna do something together just like to see if they can get along in some means Um, okay, um, maybe we're just gonna go to the movies, just like, she was like, I was gonna go see a movie, and he was like, uh -uh. She's like, um, don't play with me. Look at fools. I get boo. Ah, yes. Staying on course. Laura is determined to stay separate for the moment, and interactions would so not make her uh, change her mind so easily. <gasps> oh, they got dressed up. She was like, I'm going to the movies. Uh, uh you can come. If you want, it's Christmas tomorrow. Oh my, not Christmas, Christmas Eve. So, look forward to a couple of episodes of fun. Ooh, how should we do that with the separation? Um, okay, so how we're gonna do it is they're gonna stay here, and in the morning, they're going to do Christmas Eve stuff here and Christmas stuff here, but then at, in the afternoons, they're going to head over to their dad's, so that, that'll give us a chance to see both boys in an episode, which, 
pretty cool, I think. So. No, it says these are holiday decorations, but I'm not seeing much holiday decorating. Okay. Let's put this over here. And then where are the trees? Okay. I have no idea where we're going to put this. Well, on the one at the dad's house. So. Here. No, that'll be in the way. It'll be in the way wherever we put it, though. Like, I want to put it here, but... Okay, uh, I'm gonna put this in the inventory. Put that there. And then I'm gonna slide this somewhere else for now. I'll just plop that here for now. Okay. So, we'll do that tomorrow in the next episode. I'm going to let her come up early now. Please go early. Yes. Okay. Okay, so, okay, she's inviting Michaela over, and, um, Nathaniel is, like, also gonna come, because he's like, hey, my younger sister's friend is kinda cute, <laughs> and, but he's not gonna say that, because... He's not. <laughs> um, uh, wait. Like, I keep clicking the wrong thing. They're gonna go to the mall to do, like, Christmas shopping, you know? What? Okay, so I have to invite them over and then do the Christmas shopping. But we're going to say that they went to do Christmas shopping and Nathaniel drove them. Because in my head, they're like 15 and he's like 16 or 17. So he's definitely like the older brother, but not like in a creepy way. He's not that much older. Daniel and Michaela. And it says they're busy because they're at school. I'm just going to summon them. No, no. <laughs> You're fine. Well, no. Tanova! Okay. There's one. I'm just okay. Now we can go. I like doing these rabbit holes because then it lets the um the episode not be super long, you know. Okay, so they're going to the mall after their half day. I've never had a school school be a half day because of snow. But it is a thing. I don't know why, but... 
Okay, he left. We're just gonna pretend. Um, that he didn't leave <laughs> when they get back. It may not have went exactly how we wanted, but I will admit we had fun. Okay, so they're having fun. You know, they're able to set their differences aside for the morning for a matinee showing at the movie theater. Um, and now she's gonna do the dishes. <laughs> How's it going, bud? How's it going with you? Oh, you're doing fantastic. Do you have any friends? You have peers, but like... No, okay, you do have some friends. And a bully, apparently. Why would you... I don't want him to make friends. I want him to hang out with the friends he already has, you know? I wish that was an option, but whatever. How long are they? <gasps> Hi. <laughs> uh -huh. it should know. <gasps> oh my god. That really should not have boosted their romance that much. I'm gonna knock it down a bit. I'm gonna say... It's like negative 25. Like they made progress, but not that much progress, you know? She really likes being home. I think that's sweet. Okay, how long is this thing going to last? Anya feels relaxed after just getting away and hanging out with her friends, even if they didn't really do anything. Okay, awesome. Nathaniel, get over here. Because <laughs> you drove them home, so. I wish there was, like, a park nearby they could all hang out at. I know there's this area, but there's nothing for them to do and I don't think I can edit this somehow so it's like what do they do over here <laughs> other than just grill boom there you are actions from group group formed it's too cold out to really be outside. So let's I go up to her room. Sit together. Um, maybe they like wanted to talk. So her brother was like, okay, I can hang out while you guys are doing whatever it is you're doing. Okay, 
let's make sure we split the time between the two. We don't want to make it seem like oh, we don't care about her friend just because we think her brother is cute, you know? Especially since she also thinks this other boy is cute, so it's like she's in a pickle. She's in a real big pickle. Okay, uh... Other Sims. Okay. I wish there was like, ask if the Sim likes me or whatever. Is that an option with my mod? I think it might be. Yeah, ask about another Sim's attractiveness preferences. Just gonna ask about Nathaniel. Daniel, because of course she would know that. Oh, they're so cute. Well, that wasn't very useful at all. After asking Michaela about Nathaniel, it was found that she doesn't really know anything about Nathaniel's preferences. <gasps> they hugged. That's so cute. Okay. Brink of Lenobo. Hana Clets. Lavar. Oh, uh, Fina. Her friend was like, dude, I don't know. Oh, Yuma. Oh, 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 Navy. Varik Poshima. Oh, Tinkwell. Hersagap for Bay. Varinoi. Snurb Yafa. Breeze do Shmoo. Sigor. Okay, now let's do a sneaky little fart. Just one. Just something that's like... Not <laughs> one of those. But yeah, like, just something simple, like... You know, um... Yeah, just a little compliment appearance. And then swiftly go back to talking about nothing important. Okay. maybe ask about this. I don't know, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> also, I'm gonna have her brother do his homework. Fella Balom? Guma? Following a brief moment of silence, Nathaniel said he doesn't have anything noteworthy that would satisfy Anya. Maybe Anya is already attractive enough in the eyes of Nathaniel. Or maybe he's just a dumb boy <laughs> who doesn't know what to say. I wish, like, he'd autonomously flirt with her, but since he, like, since they don't have the romance bar, um, he can't. Maybe if I, like, go here. I'm see control towards Anya. I always know this is here, 
I always forget where it is, so. Hmm. None of these seem like good ones for him to do. Yeah, for now, I'll just have her do one more little part. Um, what's one that isn't conspicuous? Um, maybe sweet talk. Maybe sweet talk him a bit. And then express admiration. And then she's going to very quickly talk to her friend and act like nothing's going on. Maybe complain about your parents. DZ Bobna. Ah, You know What are you doing? Ah, Stevie. Oh, careful. Oh. Bull Gelna. Starbadoo. Ponka. Yips, yips. Oh, what deed? Kasuma Bolino. Locus. Oh. Brinka. And Doc. Your ba. Sharuna's the me. I'm so bad. Oh, oh. Goodbye. <laughs> drinks Ralph. <laughs> Aw, it's so cute. Okay, um, is mom still on the TV? She isn't, okay. We're gonna sit together. And we're gonna watch a movie. I feel like this is like their thing, like they all like movies, so so they all watch them together. What? No, I'm sorry, you have to come over and sit on the couch with me. Dude, what are you doing? Nathaniel, I'm going to have to insist that you sit on the couch. Thank you. Okay, um, watch movie with, um, maybe Sims of the Day. Apparently Alden is nearby, but this is not an episode that he gets <laughs> to hang out with. Okay. Maybe ask if single. And then compliment his outfit. And then swiftly turn back to Michaela. And um discuss color theory. I don't know, maybe she'll talk about uh -huh. the yeah. colors of the movie. No. Why are you guys standing? Excuse me.
Abby finally. She's speaking. Oh, he is single. I feel like he is really into her, but he isn't going to pursue it until he knows that she likes him back because she's younger than him and he's like, isn't sure about it. Um, so he's going to become more flirty once. Um, once they have a romance bar, she's gonna tease flirtatiously, but I'm gonna say it's, uh, it's not actually flirtatiously, it's more like she's teasing him, <laughs> but it, but she has a crush on him, so it's like, kind of flirtatiously, you know? And then as soon as they have a romance bar... So like either this episode or next episode, I'm gonna have her reveal crush. <gasps> so cute. I need a picture for my potential thumbnail. <laughs> Should get her friend in here. No. Cute. Okay. Left the town. Shush. Wash. So cute. Okay. She still wants to talk to Nathaniel, so I guess she better. Is there anything about the movie? There are, like, interactions about the movie, but they don't show up right away, which is annoying. She's gonna compliment his parents, like, they're looking at each other, and, you know, she was just like, you know, you're good looking, and then she's like, oh my gosh, I just said that. But of course, he's a <laughs> Slick. Oh, uh, too good. Oh. Well, good day. <laughs> Umbraza? Huh? <laughs> okay. Um I know it seems like we're ignoring our friend, but we're really not. Um Okay. Maybe look deeply into eyes. Like they're doing the very like not overly flirty oh, things. <gasps> they're holding uh -huh. hands. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna say that Michaela had to go home. And and Nathaniel is going to drive her home, but he's like, oh, I forgot my phone. 
upstairs. Um, and she's like, okay, I'll help you look for it. But really, they're not looking for it. But he earned a bonus for whatever nerdy club he's in. That's weird, but okay. What? No. You're coming upstairs with me, remember? If he doesn't, I'll just summon him after dinner and say the like. That like he says he forgot if it really... No, maybe he did see it, but... Okay, is he coming? No, I think he's still leaving, so... So yeah, I'll just summon him afterwards to be like, oh, he left something. Okay, um... Okay. Why don't you serve? No, don't serve eggs and toast. Serve the grilled cheese. <laughs> Okay. Oh, she likes cooking. Okay. Cute. Odin, you're not allowed to come over. <laughs> because you're making her life difficult. She has a lifelong crush of Nathaniel, and you just showed up and acted all cute. And now she doesn't know what's going on, because she still thinks he's cute, but she also thinks you're cute, so... Oh, uh, she's feeling distant. I prefer to feel alone right now. Well, who didn't see that coming? <laughs> with all that's been going on with the adults in her room. In her life, not her room. From me and your family. <laughs> When you get off work, at 10, okay. Okay, why don't you... Oh, thank her for cooking. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. You better do this interaction. Go on. Oh, he didn't do it. Okay, well. Why don't you play video games or something? Why don't you play arithmetic attack? Okay. 
and then Nathaniel, he just called her, and he's like, Hey, can I come over? And she, that's, see, that's what she's doing right now. She's texting him. Apparently, he's already nearby. <laughs> he's like, Hey, I'm here. Can I come get my homework? <laughs> and she's like, Yeah, of course you can. Um, let me just add him to my group. And we'll go upstairs and say that he's looking for his homework, which she did not do. She did not do her homework. Because it's hard to make them do their homework when I'm storytelling. Okay. Is he coming? Okay, he is coming. Okay. No. Nope. Okay. He came in. He looked for it. He found it. What else do we do? We've got to... Reveal crush. Just be like... She just like blurts it out. She's like... I like you, you know. I think you're really cute and sweet. So. <laughs> oh. And he's very flirty. Oh, they're gonna sit down for oh, this. Please. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, listeners yeah. get question. <laughs> he's like <laughs> Okay, he's obviously oh, okay. into it. Um, <laughs> but he's so Durfna. funny. She's not going to him stay the night, because... That's not... Like, that's not... They're not there yet. Uh, okay. No, stop. Okay, maybe... Is embrace too much? They can first kiss already. Oh my gosh. Can he first kiss her? I hope so. If not, she'll first kiss him. But it'll be like... Like she revealed his her crush. He was immediately flirty. And so, he first kissed her. Okay. The thing goes weird, it looks like... Okay, can we make it a better angle where it's like... They're... No, they're... <laughs> <laughs> Their first kiss just looks like he's kissing her forehead. There's nothing I can do about that. Um, unless I'm like, ooh, mirror shot. No, it still looks like. Okay, um. Sorry, I'm just trying to thumbnail it, but that's hard to do. No, maybe I'll just use the other thumbnail, but I don't want to do that. 
I, I want to use the first kiss as a thumbnail, but... Okay. Let's see what they do from here. Oh my gosh. They're immediately romantic. I love it. Aw, oh, but they're still really funny together. Karina! Okay. I think he's- oh my gosh. <gasps> what are you doing? Okay, I think he's gonna prank the toilet, so I'm gonna quickly make it so he's not doing that. I'm gonna be like, oh my gosh, I walked in on you about to use the restroom. I'm, you know, so sorry. Awkward, awkward, awkward. Um, um, I'm gonna have him do something because I want to. Because once I discovered this feature on MCC, I couldn't help it. I want to do it all the time. Um, hmm. I think he's gonna maybe attempt to seduce or kiss next. I'm gonna attempt to seduce because I think she's like, oh, I'm so awkward. And he's like, no, you're not. Mohina, Mohina. Oh, my gosh. oh yes, Sue. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was a very short lift. Danella. Oh. What? So he's way more romantic more with her, and they're also way more like, um. Friendly, you know. Yes. Arsene, Wegman, Owen, Glenn, Shane, John, Evoba, Cusip. You see, he's like a romance, romance, romance. A Becca Moy. Ah. Okay, they're gonna embrace Nasha. and then kiss, Dead, oh. and then. I don't know why that went down, but we're just going to ignore that and say that it doesn't matter. <laughs> Poor kid needs to pee. His sister is upstairs with a boy, so he didn't, didn't want to go upstairs to go potty. Okay, well, this is gonna where I'm gonna end the episode. I'm gonna get these guys to sleep. So, in the next episode is Winterfest Eve. So, we're gonna spend some time with mom and some time with dad, which means we have the potential to spend time with either Nathaniel or Alden. And then the same thing with the episode after that with Winterfest. So, let me know what you think of our two boys. I get the most, like, sexual chemistry with her and Alden, but I get the most, like, romantic and friendly chemistry 
with Nathaniel. So, what do you guys think should happen with the story? Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Dag, dag.